So this is today's design. This is what we did yesterday on IG. Let's add a little bit more oil on Lena. She's getting a little dry. So that way she's nice and moist. Her cuticles. Aren't they adorbs though? So then Ignacio on her live stream, she was like, we should make uh, avocados. And what was the other one? Lemons and limes and avocados. So in uh, summer, we're going to be releasing lemons and limes and avocados stickers. Antonio asks, why do you have band-aids on your neck date with a vampire gone wrong? No, they're, um, what are they? Magnets. Magnets. Yeah, for pain. And I wear them all over my body. That, I think maybe that's why I, I uh, make the airport security go off because of all the magnets I wear. Because I have the worst posture, you guys. Literally, I am Quasimodo. <laughs> Hello from Puerto Rico. So we're going to take diamond, uh, no, this is pink magic, which is a coarser bit to remove the gel. So Lena is rocking pink press on gel as well too. And this is pretty much a natural nail overlay now. How are you, dear Matt? I'm doing okay, and yourself? Sorry if this has been answered. Does anyone know when Fungel 147 will be restocked? Oh, we talked about it yesterday. Um, the restock will probably be either Saturday or Monday, along with four new colors of flash gel. So I know a lot of girls are excited for that too. And then yesterday on Instagram, the girls were really nosy. They were like, Max, you know, spill the tea, spill the tea. So we did talk a little bit about some of the things that I am working on, especially one of the newest projects that literally we just started like two days ago. Because we have three really big projects in the works, plus a new line of gel colors and one new gel top coat coming out later this year. Do you want to tell them the line, the name of the new gel polish line, Lena? Magic Syrup. Yes. Magic Syrup is the name for the new gel polish collection line coming out in late 2021. Tony says, so cute. Hi, Matt. Hi. Hello. I'm the person that asked you how you were doing. So I felt good, thanks. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. But these are non Mickey Mickey Mouse ears. I don't know where my leather ones are. But when I wear them too long, my head hurts. Because I got a big head. Yes, it'll be back in stock. I can't give you an exact date because um, we are waiting for the bottles to come in, actually. As soon as the bottles are here, we're able to fill it up. And then the new Wonder Doll bottle is actually um, electroplated, so it'll like, be more reflective, actually. Very cool looking. Hi, Mary. And you guys can see I am rocking my enocouture.com apron. So that way I won't get my clothes dirty. Where did, where did the manicure brush go, Lena? Here somewhere. We just used it. I think they're behind you. Oh. It what? It said I look so dark. I know. I noticed that too on, on Instagram. I was like, Lena looks really dark. Like she just came back from like the beach or the Saharan desert. <laughs> Why does she look so dark? She's not, I swear. It's the lighting probably. <laughs> and we use a lot of bright white light, so she should look brighter instead of darker, but maybe you look better with golden light, Lena. Maybe. Like a Playboy model. <laughs> So I'm taking down the side walls, making that nail skinny mini. Antonio says to spill it for those who couldn't make it to the 
want to spill the tea, Nina? On magic syrup? No, you. I'm, I'm busy. I've got to do nails. You can tell them what's going on. Nina's like, I don't know that much about magic syrup, actually. <laughs> What's magic syrup, Ignacio? Of magic syrup? Some of the colors? We're just waiting, we're, right now we're working on the design for the bottle, but magic syrup will be a line of glitters and uh, more cat eye colors and um, shimmers and pearls and things like that. Very magical colors. I'm from Ohio. Hi from Ohio. How much is the A few. Maybe four or five. The sound like it would be fun to work at. And then four has four dozen. No, like no, I hate it. <laughs> I wake up every day hating my life. That's what I tell them. I wake up every day. I'm like, ugh, shoot me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hi. So we're gonna go in with Diamond Manny. Uh, so took a chance with you and I'm so glad. Your products are amazing. Thank you, Max. You truly are killing the game. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. No, I say I hit my life probably because I'm always in pain. My shoulders, oh my gosh. When I, um, the massage lady I go to, because I, I had not gotten a Thai massage in a really long time. I was going to say, I go quite frequently, but I don't. It had been months. And when she was, like, uh, massaging my shoulders, it sounded like popcorn going off. Like a popcorn machine. And she was like, whoa. No bueno. Very important to clean out all that crusty molesty. Oh, don't don't because on you. Your mom's on. Oh, you. hi, mom. I'm sorry, I missed that. <laughs> Let's see. So, Lena, are you going to move to Texas too? Well, it's not confirmed yet. Yeah, it's still in the works. <laughs> it is a idea. Yeah. So. <laughs> Because we did just also invest in a acre and a half warehouse here in Arizona, but given the very, very high state tax and current political theme locally, uh, it makes it harder for a company to keep prices down. So we want we don't want to increase EnoCouture.com prices like um, a lot of the other companies are doing. Um, so. Texas has better infrastructure also than Tucson. Um, they have a really good freeway system. Um, of, of course, you know, amazing airports. Um, supposedly they have a really good school system, I heard, for the most part. We're a little off center. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I have heard that Texas has good schools. Max, are you going to Disneyland? Uh, yes, I actually tried to buy tickets today, but it kept saying like your wait time is like one hour And I was like, it's not that serious mm -hmm. But I do want to go for my birthday But if I can't go to Disneyland Magic Mountain will be okay, too, because they have a lot of roller coasters. That'll be fun, too And Disneyland's only open to California residents, which is discrimination, I think <laughs> Just come to Florida already, it's not gonna work for you <laughs> Florida was actually an option, too. Lena and I were checking it out when we went in January, but uh, flooding is an issue. So is Texas or Houston. Well, that's why we didn't decide to go with Houston. I could not imagine living in, you know, I'd be like, Lena, can you go pick up this order? She's like, okay, let me put my scuba suit on. <laughs> Ongoing joke. <laughs> what? The scuba suit? Yeah. Okay, Max, I'll be back in a few hours. <laughs> oh, like Christophe Cousteau. I can just hear, you know, diving. Hi, Maxi Fresh. I'm in here. Hi. 
I think, I, I think that's one of the only good things about living in Arizona is that we don't have any natural disasters. Extreme heat, horrible, um, horrible infrastructure. We have a horrible airport that only flies with 13 cities. <laughs> Our airport really, I mean, is not the best. Not Dallas, Texas. Why? What's wrong with Big D? Crystal asks, "How's your dad doing?" He's doing okay. He was in the hospital for uh, overnight because uh, they cleaned out his arteries because his heart was only at 40%. But I tell him, I was like, if you sleep and eat all day, then your heart's going to not, you know, function like it should. about Texas was the revolving sushi restaurant. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> you can go on a date there with uh, whoever, whatever gentleman you're seeing. My boyfriend? <laughs> one of many. No. Don't, knock one. Don't knock a girl, as Juanita, Jack, uh, Juanita Jordan would say. Don't knock a girl. <laughs> So we're going to use our pink scissors and trim, trim, trim any excess. growing population too. Yeah. But I think the houses are a little bit nicer in Texas. Well, this area we were like around. Of course. Yeah. We were like in the Beverly Hills of Texas. AKA Highland Park. See, that's because of this bloody show I watched, The Real Housewives of Dallas. One of them was like, if you don't have a 725 or whatever the area code is, you're nobody. Zip code, zip code, zip code. And then she went to like one other girl's house and she was like, oh, this is a little bit too plain for me. And it's like, I like plain oak. That's where my people are. Where I can get along with people. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with Highland Park? I can't shop around those bougie stores. <laughs> yeah, you can. That little, the money for that it. little purse. That's expensive for a little purse. But it was adorable, you guys. We saw this purse at Balenciaga. It was tiny. It literally, like, only is like a sticker gum could have fit in it. So now we're playing one coat of primer. Watching your lives is like I'm hanging out with a good friend, having a good talk. Love your lives whenever I can catch them. With a good Judy. And then the second day, we went like in the morning to go look at um, potential sites for a new headquarters. And um, it was like, there was like a taco stand, a strip club, and a warehouse. And I was like, this place is perfect. And no, that was in Dallas. In Houston, it's like, because the, they have no zoning. So that's, that city's like really spread out and strange. Yes. Lena was out there shaking it. That's why they call her Lena the Stallion. Cover my ears and go to sleep. That's because Houston has no zoning. Hi. Hi. Lena lives in a nice area. It is. Plano, Frisco. Oh yeah, there's a lot of um, Asian people too in uh, Arlington. 
because the one of the warehouses that I saw that was on auction was like right across the street from Hong Kong Market. Remember? Yeah. But like you had to invest like over a million dollars to try to fix it up because it got damaged really bad with the um, tundra. So it was like, yeah, it's really bad. And I was like, oh, never mind. Then, oh yeah, he told me they sold all the copper from the building. And I was like, geez, that's a thing out there. Enos, yeah, that was a no-go. It looked like a like a horror movie set, like a like Halloween escape room. <laughs> a big sign that said "Packing." Let's fake it. Thirty seconds. Yeah, it was a million dollars, and I was like, "This place is not worth." Um, no, it was more than a million dollars, like one point five or one point four. Everybody's allergies was. The, the guy was like, "Yeah, this place has been vacant for like fifteen years," and I was like, "No wonder. It's out in the middle of nowhere." Everybody was really excited about a Bucky's. And I was like, yeah. Big old hat. Huge. Very novelty. What did you get at Bucky's? Not water. Because <laughs> I need to take my allergy medicine. <laughs> so now we're going to go in with our second coat of pink press on gel. All the allergies. I had to like take off my eyelashes. All the glamour disappeared. Yeah, basically. And I was wearing a mask too. And then Enos was far too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like an hour drive. I was like, we're not gonna commute an hour every day to work. But isn't gas cheaper over there? Yes, it was. By like a like 30 cents or 30 cents, we know they add up. That volume she got with that press on the No joke. Oh, and then the other thing I'm working on too is this new armrest that I really, really enjoy because it's less strain on my shoulders. Everyone's like, it's too high. And I was like, well, suck it up. I'm tall. Yes, but also state tax went up a lot, like 14%. Mansfield, Texas is where I'm located. It's quite nice. Quiet and nice. Where? Mansfield. I've never been there. <laughs> but if I do move, I, if I'm not going to live in Highland Park, I'm not moving. Let's bake that 30 seconds. I don't know, it could be like the kind of lamp you're using because all of our products are designed to work in synergy with each other. So if you're mixing lamps and brands and things like that, that can definitely be an issue. And also I always apply the first coat really super thin to kind of give my nail a base. We also have the setting the 99 seconds. Correct. So if you press the 99 seconds on the lamp, that will start the lamp at a low, uh, a low wattage and the wattage will gradually go up to 99 seconds. So the cure will be instead of 60 seconds, it'll be 90 seconds but you will not have a heat spike. And we're gonna do our third and final layer of press on gel. And when we went to Highland Park, so I was asking the girls at the restaurant, I was like, do you guys know the Real Housewives of Dallas? There's only one girl that responded. Yeah, she was like, yeah, she comes here. And I was like, who? Like, oh, that's a pretty best, but whatever. She's from the real house of Dallas. That was a really nice restaurant. Mm, and the food was pretty good. <laughs> from the fancy days. You can wear a tie to work, Lena, if you want to. You should wear a tie tomorrow. I don't have any more ties. I what? gave them all. Why? Yeah. Oh, they were the companies? No, I just gave them the goodwill. <laughs> oh, you can wear an apron if you want to. I guess. <laughs> I feel like I'll 
be like a housewife that's walking around. In an apron. <laughs> I'm bummed we didn't go to Six Flags. That was really unfortunate. So now we're gonna bake this one minute inside the dancing garden. And then somebody's gonna be like, next year comes time to tell me, like, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was like, Max, come to San Antonio. <laughs> and I was like, no, it's okay. I bet you San Antonio is a lovely city, but it's not on my bucket list. But maybe SeaWorld, because I know my mom likes SeaWorld. I heard they have roller coasters there. Yeah, they do. Roller coasters. Yeah, yeah nothing like, too crazy. Well, there's a big one, but like, like one or two. Everything else is on the smaller scale. Like water rides. I like that. Yeah. I'm not gonna get wet. You know how I. <laughs> Me and water rides do not mix, you guys. Why go to SeaWorld? Look at Shamu. Many shampoos. Many shampoos. There is over how many shampoos? Like five, maybe. Hello. Hi, and saludo a la isla del encanto. Look at that volume on those phalanges. The tone is what they. I remember Miss Kimberly London was like. That's what we call San Antonio. The tone. I love your videos you make. Oh, thank you. So I'm using my hand sanitizer because of the high ethanol content in it and the no water in it. It's a great product to remove the oxygen inhibition layer in the uh, sticky layer of the gel. So now I'm going to take my file. I'm going to shape up the phalanges. But I've never been to San Antonio and I've never been to Austin. Austin is growing a lot. I heard like a lot of people from California moving to Austin. Mm -hmm. What's her name's daughter lives there too? Oops. Sarah Palin, her daughter. Yeah, Bristol Palin, she's a real estate agent. I'm sorry. You know what? I should just go to Austin to go hang out with her. <laughs> and be like, can we be friends, Bristol? You're so pretty. Really? Why? She got a job opportunity there. Really? She work in big tech? I don't know. <laughs> no. We need you to visit us in Puerto Rico and have a workshop. We I would love you. I would love to visit Puerto Rico. Not only for the beautiful people but also for the delicious food love me some puerto rican food but man that's a lot of carbs and i heard like puerto rican slushies are so good in the summer mm -hmm. no that's ba as bad as kardashians <laughs> as what kardashians is kardashians oh but what's it just as bad the Real Housewives of Dallas. <laughs> Do any of you guys like the shows, The Real Housewives? When I used to watch television, I was obsessed with like Beverly Hills, Atlanta, and which other one did I watch a lot? New Jersey. The Real Housewives of New Jersey. New York was okay. I never really got into it. And I never really got into um, OC either. And I heard Vicky's not on there anymore, so what's the point? And Shaw's a Sunset, I used to like that show as well, too. Oh, no, Bristol Palin. <laughs> Bristol Palin. Yeah. Somebody asked on one of the videos what my dad looks like. My dad looks like Reza. Yeah. From the rear, uh, from the Shaw's a Sunset? <laughs> I guess because I already know what your dad looks like, so I don't know. <laughs> Very Middle Eastern. I can't handle all their drama and backstab 
Hmm. It's part of the fun of watching those shows. Trash TV. Like watching Dynasty. Love the New Jersey's Housewives. Teresa. I heard her daughter got a nose job. And she's not with Joe anymore from what I heard too. Um, did I ever see the review? I'm not... Maybe? Why? I think so, and I mean... Antonia says, oh god, please don't bring up that stupid video up again. She has no clue what she was doing, and she did not do it correctly, and did not use all his products. I mean, I... What happened happened a long time ago, and... Come on. <laughs> to better and positive things. Amen. We're gonna go in with the golden wand bit. Hello, hello. Where is oh, where's, it, where's my Max's drink? Favorite food is Chinese food. Yes. My mom had a heart to heart with me in Texas, and she was like, "You really like with all your heart love Chinese food." She was like, "You were born to the wrong family." <laughs> In my heart, I am Chinese. Because I love Chinese food so much. So we're going to blend out the shape using the golden wand, but ever so gently. Relax your hand, Lena. Acetone, yes. Acetone removes any product buildup. It pretty much kills anything as well, too. Saludos, Puerto Rico, la isla del encanto. Oh, and also the uh, 5XL nails will be back in stock really, really soon. Like maybe a week or so more. Maybe less. I have to check with production. Sushi, I love it. I like sushi too, but too much rice. <laughs> I'm like, why don't you just eat the sashimi? <laughs> oh. But you, you just feel like, can't just eat. <laughs> It needs rice, it needs wasabi, it needs all those good things. And like sushi, American sushi is not what they eat in Japan. They think it's gross. The more plain the sushi is, the better is what they like. They want it to taste like raw fish pretty much. So let's go in now with the mixer cuticle bit. But I love my little matte glass pink dish to soak my bits in. Aren't they adorbs? So we're going to begin the snatching of the cuticle area. With Miss Mixer. Pull back those sidewalls.
Make sure there's no product on the skin, you guys, okay? The great thing about the mixer is it will not break the skin as well. Are you guys loving DIY gel? How many of you girls have ordered it already? The sales for DIY are through the roof. I'll sell with you, Cobb. Soy ma. Shut up. Popsy bat. Free Wi Fi. Did you love it? So I'm gonna go back in to really airbrush that cuticle with the diamond prep. We're really gonna blend her for fill. And when you clean out the cuticle and you blend it out really super well, your nails last so much longer too. Like how long did you have your last set on me? Your last um, plump, plump and manny. Like three weeks, maybe? Yeah, probably. It's already been three Time goes by so fast. The older you get, the faster it goes. It's already like halfway through April already. Too fast. Hold still time. What's your rush? Oh, you know what I wanted to talk to you guys about too? Is I really genuinely want to ask you guys what you think about trade shows. And I want your feedback. If you guys like will be going to trade shows, if you think that trade shows are going to be like making a comeback, because um, I personally don't think they are. And just my last experiences at the, at the trade shows in 2019, when we went like, um, when was the last time that they had like big trade shows? I felt like they really were dying down and they were more like a, a relic and a formality and people don't really attend them anymore. So I wanna know what you guys think about trade shows. Let's have a little discussion. Mm. I love DIY gel. I was having such a hard time using press on gel with my non dominant hand. But remember to use press on gel as a base, okay? So that we have the best adhesion and the best seamless look. I ordered three tubes and think it's my new fave. I think you should do this gel with the pink tint too. Maybe. She a new bottom chick now too? Mm -hmm. Jessica Ward says I miss trade shows. Uh-huh. Antonio says I would love to go to trade shows. And then just given the situation, a lot of people don't have as much disposable income to spend at trade shows than they did in the past. And it's so expensive to, for not only for us to go to a trade show, but for you guys, the consumer as well, to go to a trade show. Like tickets are over $100 a day for most shows now. And on top of that, you know, you still have to like get accommodation and everything like that. So it is so expensive. That's why you don't see a lot of like people always say, oh, you know, we don't see any of the big nail companies because they put out so much money to break even. So it's not um, feasible for them anymore. And, you know, we're growing and we're starting to see the same, uh, the same kind of like situation is like, you know, it's not really feasible anymore. Yeah, for a lot of people it was. But do you think that trade shows will make a comeback? I love going to trade shows with 
COVID, it caused us to turn it to online ordering, and it has become so much easier to shop this way. Cost to attend or have a booth can be too much as well. I agree. I agree very, very much. Um, I don't like to talk numbers too, too much, but we would easily spend, and we didn't have a fancy booth or anything like that. We would spend over twenty thousand dollars to go to a trade show to to uh, have, you know, uh, the booth and electricity and Wi-Fi. Everything is you have to pay separate, and it is just a very, very expensive thing. Hi. Katrina says that's just too much. <laughs> Bigger companies with like really big fancy booths would spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like um, a non-nail company that I know that would spend a lot of money on booths was like Moroccan Oil. They would easily spend over a hundred thousand dollars on their booth and everything like that and just so you were lucky if you would break even because i remember back in the stone age when i was a kid and i would go to the um, trade shows that was the place where you would go and you would buy products because we didn't have um the internet we didn't have online sales we didn't have uh the education that we have now that's available to everybody with all of our social media platforms so trade shows were the only place where you can get deals or get demonstrations and see products because the other, uh, the only other uh, outlet that we had was um, publications, which are pretty much dead now too. What are the girls saying, Leah? Antonio, well, Tracy says that's just too expensive. She knows that the company that is similar to uh, ABC's company, mm -hmm. they spend a lot on their booths and they are all flashy and little products. And they're lucky if they even make any sales. So we're going to use our strawberry and our cherry product, our ch product stickers today. <laughs> so this one says strawberry on the ring finger, on the pointer finger, right? So this one will say no. cherry. So I'm gonna use my pink max tweezers. Remember to leave a little bit of space, okay you guys? Then take your silicone tool and press it down firmly. Make sure that sticker is not too close to the edge as well, too. So, so cute. I hope so. I can see how they may be a thing of the past. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm feeling like. And it's unfortunate because it was such a big part of the industry, but it's also, you know, we've got to grow and we've got to uh, get with the times.
Should we put another cherry down here, Liam? Or up here? Take your silicone tool, and I always like to start at the side, and then transfer the design nice and evenly. What? Well, I know, I'm doing it differently. So it's not too, too matchy matchy, but this one will be glitter on this one. theme one but we are going to make a very small quantity of avocados and lemons do you like the leaf on it or no no mm. we'll put glitter there I think that'll look better are super beautiful as well too and I've done them on a video already too I did them on uh, Ignacio I think you should make some graffiti stickers just so you know. we have some coming out for volume our second round there's gonna be two rounds more of stickers so you gotta stay tuned Oops. Dope things coming soon. The bad word ones, a lot of people are excited about those. So are strawberries a winter fruit or are they a like summer fruit?
Do you know, Lena? I don't know. Because I know, like, for example, when Marie Callender's was around, they would only sell the strawberry pies in the summer. And in Korea, strawberries are a winter fruit. And I was like, how does that work? Well, that don't, she don't make sense. Mm -hmm. It's a spring fruit. But what about in, in Asia when I, it was uh, winter? It was January and they had everything strawberry. And I was like, uh. Korean is the summer. <laughs> Cheer, cheer, lady. Adorbs. Yeah, the strawberries are spring slash summer fruit. So, what about in Korea? I don't know, but they make like fruits like. They're not like regular fruits that, that are grown in like the US, like specially. They're grown in laboratories? Because they have to be like the perfect size and perfect like flavor or like... Oh, that's in Japan. And that's not true. I've had strawberries in Japan and they were not good. I had a white one. Yeah. And it was gross. <laughs> it didn't taste like anything at all. So I'm going to use one of my favorite brushes for applying glitter, which is my Sailor Magic liner. So she is a all year round, she's a versatile fruit. So we're going to take a clear press on gel. Carla says those are special strawberries in Korea, probably more natural. Sure. It's a small country, so I don't know where they would grow. So this is the pink hologram silver uh, glitter from the Trick Glitter set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very thin layer of clear press on gel over the entire nail. And then I'm going to take a dollop of press on gel, between my brush on one side, dip it into the glitter. And then I'm going to apply it to the phalange. So that way I get a very, very heavily coated glitter nail. So much glitter. That's why I got my little cigarette magic liner ready to so this is kind of like we're making our own gel color if you will like glitter. <laughs> huh like just, glitter. just glitter just how I like it the more sparkles the better the more the sparkles the closer to Jesus I love working on top of the rubber mat because if any little glitter falls out or anything like that, I can just really easily pick her up and apply it wherever I want to fill in any gaps or anything. Really? No, it's about the same, I think. Everything is nice and skinny. Minnie! And that she is sparkly. Lena, can you do me a favor? Can you pass me my flashy lamp? The dirty one, which is the one I use. <laughs> She's a working girl, this flashy lamp. So we're going to freeze this for just a few seconds so that way I don't have to freeze it inside the lamp for and go like go back and forth, back and forth. So now we're going to apply clear press on gel over the entire phalange, a nice thin coat, because I'm gonna use this to give the nail not only more volume, but also encapsulate the glitters and the stickers so that way they won't go anywhere. 
Christians, uh, I grew up in a strawberry, in the strawberry farms in Wisconsin. Cannot grow them in freezing weather and inches of snow. They get planted in April and we pick them in June and July. Oh, so they are summer fruit. What is a winter fruit then? Winter melon? <laughs> nice glitter mat. Isn't it dope? It is from the Trick glitter sets. Your nails look cute. They're really cute. They're really cute. What'd you say yesterday? They were kawaii. kawaii. Mm -hmm. They are very Japanese Korean style. They love stickers. Very thin coat, and I'm really rubbing it into the phalange, so that way everything is really nice and melted too. Smooth. Smooth. <laughs> Look at that! The glitter and the sticker just really like melt into the nail, and it's stunning. So let's put a little glitter in here. And then you already know when to use my brush and pick it up and apply, apply, apply. Ugh. You know what, I think I am going to have to just give in and pay for YouTube Premium. Because <laughs> the ads... I'm getting really out of control. Yeah, I swear you guys, I get like the most random ads too. I get contraception, contraceptives, and I get... What was it? Monistat 1. And I was like, geez, you're filming and all of a sudden it's like... What, what did uh, the commercial say today? Hello, yeast infection. <laughs> Huh? You haven't been really playing like music a lot. Like my own music? Yeah. Because of all the ads that come on. I know, it's so annoying. That's why they do it too. To drive you crazy. But ooh, that glitter nail is awesome. She's no joke, huh? And this is from the trick. Mm -hmm. Tracy Ann says that's why I gave it and got premium. The ads are ridiculous. <laughs> it's so annoying. Oh my gosh, you remember the one where the lady talks about smells? Yeah. Oh my god. And that, that ad went out in my class, remember? Yeah. We were in the middle of class and then she was like, something about body odor. And I was like, oh my god. Max, what are you listening to, they said. Yeah. That was funny. I'm like, I swear I had nothing to do with the algorithm. It's Google spying on your search history. They're following me. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi. Because I'm not fond of the fruit on my on my nails, but I do like the glitter and the pieces. I'm not too crazy about the fruit, but I think it's cute. It's definitely a summer vibe. And I say summer because it's like 90 degrees here. <laughs> Oh, I saw that. <laughs> I just saw it as a camera. <laughs> I 
like weird stuff on my nails. Not into the cutesy fruit, fruity stuff. Who's that? Such. Weird stuff. <laughs> That's questionable. <laughs> yes, we've done some pretty interesting things on nails. Focus camera. Okay, let's make that 30 seconds. Let's put our brush away and our glitter before I drop it and spill it all over the floor. Good day, mate. What's for dinner today, Lena? I don't know. Well, Lena's on a diet, but I don't think she should be. Sorry, I'm wait. Why? The wedding? Yeah. So we're going to do one more coat of clear press-on gel over the entire nail. And this is going to encapsulate that glitter. So that way, especially if you guys have clients or yourself that like to pick at glitters and things like that, you won't trust. She's a picker. Lady lumps. She had what? Sushi and sake for Oh, that's yummy. Do you like sake, Lena? I don't think I've ever had it. Really? Yeah. I'm do a nice even thin coat of clear press on gel over the glitter. Make sure we turn the hand over, pull back the sides so that way we can see if there's any part that is missing clear press on gel. So that way you get a really even smooth surface. Look how sparkly that is. What's that? Prosciutto, prosciutto. Oh, prosciutto, prosciutto. Like the Italian uh, ham. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot too, but it has a lot of sodium. Caitlin says, I just got my package the other day and I have to say everything was packaged so beautifully. I just, I got a bunch of goodies and got the gemstone magic Oh, do you love them? Love all your products. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's really sweet. that it is shrink wrap for days. Flip the sun, make sure nothing ran. Okay, let's bake this 30 seconds. And the final, final layer we're gonna do for one minute. Everybody's really quiet today. 
get to meet, remember? Oh. Category is... Diced tomatoes. I like tomatoes with mozzarella cheese. It's good. So now we're going to do our final layer of shiny gel over the entire phalange. And seal everything and make her super glossy. A nice coat of shiny over everything. Make sure you get all those corners and edges, you guys. Do you feel glamorous, Lena? Yes. Do you feel tutti fruity or rooty? <laughs> Goodbye. Yes. We're gonna bake that for one minute inside the dazzling darling lamp. We gotta do the final coat, you guys remember, for at least one minute to make sure everything is really, really baked and fused together. A lot of mistakes that people make is that um, the final layer of gel, they don't cure it all the way, and that's when you get peeling and bubbling and things like that. So make sure that final layer is cured all the way through, okay? And then after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're gonna wait 10 seconds and apply our cotton candy cuticle oil. Oh, thank you. You like them? <laughs> They're bottom chick status nails. Do you like them, Leah? Make sure they're nice and dry. Give me one second. Going to take a 240 grit file, or you can take Twiggy. We're gonna go all around the edges, make sure nothing is stuck to the skin. Are you guys living for the structured manicures, the plump manis? Antonio says, one of these days I will goth up my nails, not just black and gold. <laughs> you can't go wrong with black and gold though, it's very Versace. They are a good length for you, Lena. I know you don't like them like long ones. Unfortunately. They're mine really close to my natural nail. <laughs> They're pretty much a natural nail overlay with press-on gel. Basically. Mm -hmm. They're very cutesy bootsy, aren't they? Greta says they're so cute. Aren't they adorbs? Good enough to eat. Oh, that Twiggy. What can't she do? 
Or can she reach? And now we're going to apply a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil. Lovely. So I'm going to turn on some hard light so we can get the real tea up close and in person. Look at that, they're so cute. And this one says cherry. And look at those stickers, they are really encapsulated so you don't have to worry about any edges or anything. The glitter nail. Beautiful. Well, you guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed this cute little cherry design and strawberries.